All right, guys, how's it going? Well, we're streaming live at the moment. We're doing the all day, all night transfer deadline day stream. Uh, but I broke off just to record a quick video for you. You know, following this this news about this bid for Mo Salah being rejected by Liverpool Football Club, and you know, apparently it was uh, an informal bid uh, of a hundred million plus, excluding add-ons. And this was made to Mike Gordon last night in a phone call. Liverpool rejected it. Uh, but the Saudis are not giving up. Um, the Saudi Pro League, you know, that'd be their main people on behalf of Al Ittihad, is it? Yeah. Um, I think I had them in the drawer, actually, which is obviously a fix. I think they're the best team, right? Anyway, so there's a few things you can that I want to say about it, right? First of all, at today's press conference, Jurgen Klopp was asked, has there been a bid? And he said, not as far as I'm aware, you know, but then added at the end of it, but, like, you know, that doesn't mean anything anyway. As if to say, like, well, I'm not necessarily going to fucking know about it, right? Which is what I tell you all the time. Sometimes I'll say to you, the manager, you know, doesn't always know what's happening. He can be the last one to know who he's going to sign or, you know, who might be going or whatever. Sometimes the manager, Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool, is just told, right? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure Sir Alex Ferguson would have operated like that at Manchester United, but that's a different story altogether. So the bosses say, no, there's no bid for him or out like that. And then it comes out that there was a bid last night. I don't know why we need to know it was last night. Uh, so, I and I don't know why we need to know who dealt with that bid. You know, a call uh, to Mike Gordon. So there's quite a bit of information there provided, right? Why are we hearing it? I say this all the time. You've got to look at the what is being said. So first of all, you're hearing that a bid's been rejected. Why? Why is who wants you to know that? And then. There were very specific things. Mike Gordon, a telephone call last night. They could have turned around and said Liverpool had rejected a hundred million plus bid, for, you know, for Mo Salah, and that's the end of it. But there was very specific details included with that, and I think that is out there for a reason. You're going to have to think about what that reason may be. Now, I've been saying, you know, I've been talking about this on the stream all day so far, but you might, you know, not have been on the stream. Or you might not have seen my last videos, but I think Mo Salah's going to go to Saudi Arabia. I, I'm absolutely convinced. I don't know when that will be. Uh, you know, people are worried that there might be a, a bid ex, ex, uh, accepted today. I don't think that will be the case. The Saudi Pro League opens longer, uh, transfer window, sorry. Um, and, you know, I won't be too critical of the owners if they accept an offer at some point. If it's a ridiculous offer, 100 million, no, 100 million plus is what we're told. Well, that's going to be like closer to 100 million than it is 120 million. Otherwise, they would say an offer close to 120. So 100 million plus, I think, means around 100 million just over. Um, but, you know, if, if FSG were to receive an offer of 150 million for, for, you know, an offer like that, then they're going to take it. And I, ca I can't blame them. You know, I know you guys will say, well, hang on, don't, that's, you know, they should have a, a, a replacement. How do you plan for a replacement if you don't know that there's, what the Saudis are going to do? All right. Now, as you know, if you follow my content, I think that Mo Salah's agent, Rum, Rummy Abbas, whatever he's called, Rami Abbas, Ram, Rami, Abba, Ram, Rami Abbas, I think he has been ducking and diving with the people uh, in Saudi Arabia. I mentioned on the members' website yesterday who uh, I believe that he's uh, been talking to. I can't remember his name. I couldn't remember it at the time. I had to do a bit of digging to find out who it was that had been said to me. The name still means nothing to me. Um, but he's basically the guy, you know, that's uh, like a chief executive or something of the Saudi Pro League. And I believe that Rumi Abaf, or whatever he's called, has, has been, you know, talking to him. And I think that the plan is to get Mo Salah out there next season, if not before. All right. Now, if Liverpool can organise, you know, agree a deal and all the digits are all in place and Liverpool can get the same money that they'd be happy with next year as this year. If the, the player gets the same salary, the agent gets the same cut and ultimately they get the player, then it would be really nice to think that that could all happen next year because, you know, we, we kind of like will accept it a little bit more then, right? I don't want to lose more Salah now, right? But if you're more Salah and you say, like, well, I'm going to get the same terms now and I'm going to get the same terms next year, then if you're more, you're probably thinking, well, I'll do another year in the top flight in the Premier League and I'll go out there next year, I'm not going to lose out. The people that lose out is Liverpool Football Club because they're not going to get the sort of money that that club is prepared to offer now. So Liverpool have to look at it and think, well, hang on, we know this fucker's trying to broker something in the background, uh, allegedly. Uh, so we're going to have to capitalise on this if possible. It would explain why John Henry's been uh, 
you know, we, we, we spoke a couple of times, haven't we, about John Henry being apparently frustrated at things at Liverpool not happening. I gave my thoughts in that video yesterday as to why that might be. Totally speculative, nothing to back it up whatsoever. Just thinking and bouncing ideas around. And um, I, I genuinely, genuinely think that, you know, there's some people on the stream now going, Mo Salah won't be so. I, I, no. And, and as much as you can be as FSG out as you want, I don't like FSG. But I would understand if they sold him. The problem is, are they going to get anyone in today if they sold him today? I don't see why they need to sell him today. Um, but at that sort of money, if they got 150, 150 plus or whatever, they're going to be turning around to the manager saying, you're going to have to make do till January, mate. It's simple as that. Because we can't reject that money. Do you know what I mean? But I think the key points here that I'm trying to make to you are, one, more salary is definitely going to go to Saudi Arabia at some point. He's going to be the biggest fish for them, without a doubt, right? He's definitely going to go out there, and you can understand why. Uh, the other point I would uh, like to emphasise is that he... Uh, sorry, I'm forgetting everything. Is uh, that the point of the manager saying, you know, today's press conference, no, there's no bid for Mo Salah, but then it coming out today that there has been, and it was last night, and it was in a phone call, and the person that had the phone call is also named as well very 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 specific details that you don't normally see do you we don't normally see that you know normally it's just like liverpool have rejected a bit of whatever so someone wants you to know that why do you know what i mean or do they want someone else to know that does someone you know you could turn around and say does someone want clock to know that it was made last night because uh, he said today that he's not aware of anything so all these, listen, tin hat stuff, you know, speculation. But that's what we do with football fans and we try and work it out, right? So um, I think that you're seeing a, a game being played out. This is part of the process. I fully expected it. Uh, we are live on the stream. If you're watching this video, we'll be there until the window closes this evening. Please do come along if you've got some thoughts about it. Um, but uh, if you think it wouldn't happen, then I, I, I strongly disagree with you on that, all right? But equally, as much as you hate the owners, if you are offered £150 million for a player at that age, that you know they're working on trying to make it happen in a few months' time or next next year or whatever. And when we say next year, you know, in football, it's like that. You know, so £150 million now or a much lesser fee in the future or whatever, I don't know. Um, I, I imagine... Uh, that Liverpool would prefer to strike a deal now for next year if everyone can have everything agreed. Uh, that could be a negotiating tactic, you know. But will the Saudis pay the same amount of money next year? Would they pay a premium next year when they know the player is easier to get, the player wants to move, blah, blah, blah. It's a game, it's been played out, but trust me, remember them things. Jurgen Klopp, I'm not aware of it. He seemed like he was being genuine to me. He didn't seem like he was trying to throw the press off to me. Uh, I can't prove that, uh, but because he also added that point of <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? It didn't mean I would know for sure anyway, you know. So there was that. It was a very telling point, um, and I just think that the, the amount of detail given regarding the bid, the informal bid, how it took place, when it took place, and who it took place with, is really telling to me. All right, guys, uh, if you appreciate the stream, please thumbs up, leave a comment. Thank you. Not the stream, the video. Right, cheers. All right.